is an ICS detection product basically doing the same thing as an OT asset management platform? If not, what are the differences and what are the overlaps? I'm Ralph Langner and I'll help you figure out the different product categories. If you are in OT security, you couldn't fail to recognize that the market space is getting overcrowded with well over 30 vendors offering their wares. In this video, I'll highlight how our OT-based asset management platform is different from other product offerings. I think I can do that in a credible manner because, as I just said, my argument is not that OT-based would be better than what you see elsewhere in the market. That's up to you to decide based on your given requirements. I'll base my comparison in respect to what a product claims to do, for whom, and how it is done. Let's first briefly recap ICS detection products from vendors such as Nozomi, Clarity, Forescout, CyberX and others. Their core value proposition is detecting imagined cyber attacks, vulnerabilities and threats in real-time network traffic. The return on investment is basically the risk reduction by the chance to detect potential future cyber attacks early. The prototypical user is a cybersecurity analyst in a security operations center. The technology used relies on real-time network monitoring via span ports, using hardware appliances and deep packet inspection, various analytical procedures from signature base to behavior, creating events that then need to be processed by those analysts in the SOC. Now let's look at the OT-based asset management platform. The core value proposition is to make OT stakeholders more efficient in dealing with complex digital OT, specifically for large organizations with many sites. OT security is one of several use cases. Target users include engineers, maintenance staff, plant planners, auditors, OT security experts, even vendors and contractors. The return on investment is saved labor cost for all these stakeholders. The technology used shows some significant differences to ICS detection. OT-Base is a software-only product that does not require hardware appliances. It only does active asset discovery and zero deep packet inspection. Different from detection products, network sensors are by far not the only data source. The secret behind OT-Base is hybrid metadata consolidation. Active probing sensors discover device make and model, network topology, firmware version and software configuration using legitimate protocol functions, thereby eliminating the need for constant real-time network monitoring. This data can be enriched by users with information on location, process function, tags, files and pictures, turning the inventory into a supercharged technical documentation. Vendor data such as product links, patch compatibility and product lifecycle information is added automatically. The same thing goes for vulnerability data that is downloaded from NIST and associated with the installed product base automatically. The resulting hybrid data model can then be searched, visualized, analyzed and shared. Let's look at some examples. A device profile for a given device in OT base holds a breakdown of all the technical details and metadata. Hyperlinks to related items in OT-Base allow easy navigation, enabling you to fully understand system context and configuration history. Finding all instances of a particular software product is easy by going to the software inventory and then launching the product profile for the software product that you're interested in. Check-in configuration compliance with standard configurations can be achieved by using the baseline workflow that allows you to define required software components and unauthorized software.
Identifying all the devices affected by a specific vulnerability is a matter of seconds. Just type in the CVE in the quick search and then hit enter. An elaborate access control mechanism allows you to specify the type of access and the depth of the access that individual users and users group may have. You can do that using your roles and also responsibilities that you can tie to specific locations, process associations and device groups. And in either dimension you can fine-tune the access in a hierarchy, so for example you could limit access to particular rooms or devices in a particular cabinet, which means you can also open up the system to contractors that are only supposed to see a small subset of what is in the inventory. Finally, OT-based supports multiple languages, which means it is perfectly suited for international corporations. All inventory data can be exported either via a REST API or by a simple JSON export. Now let's take a closer look at use cases and concepts specifically associated with OT security. We can use the various functions defined in the NIST cybersecurity framework to highlight the differences between ICS detection and OT base. ICS detection products, as the name suggests, focus on detecting imagined cyber attacks. OT base, on the other hand, focuses on the other function of the cybersecurity framework, especially on identification and protection. And there is even a well defined incident management workflow built into OT base. Why do we focus less on detection than all the other vendors? Well, simply in the interest of cost efficiency. Cost efficiency is the major problem in cybersecurity, and you can find some background on how this should affect your strategy in my talk on Lean OT Security that is also available on YouTube. In OT, the low hanging fruit is identification and protection, especially at a time when real cyber attacks against OT are much publicized unicorns rather than everyday events. Logically, your investment in detection capability should reflect the anticipated frequency of actual attacks and the cost of detection capability. So rather than installing a truckload of hardware appliances and process networks for a new network anomaly detection product that is limited to OT, we believe a better product strategy is to integrate with existing SIEM products from IT such as Splunk or QRadar. If that raises your appetite for OT asset management, then please check out the other videos on our YouTube channel and go to our website langner.com where you can also download an evaluation version of the OT-based asset discovery software.